Hi, Big Lee here, just doing a review of the Sigma SV006 headphone. And I just want to quickly demonstrate the sound isolation of these headphones. Uh, you notice that they have vented holes here, actually. It's for, I assume, tuning these. Uh, let's just, let me just quickly show you how, how well it isolates the sound. So this is a song that is about three quarter, three quarter volume. And it's actually playing something. Yep, so, so that's the difference. And this is when it's against your head, pretty much. So people can still hear it, especially when you hit max. People will definitely hear it. And you can definitely feel the bass on this. Uh, the sound signature of this is um, neutral in that it has a very flat line. Let me show you the acoustic curve here. And that means the volume across all the frequencies is relatively flat with slight amount of highs. And hence, people might perceive this as a very detailed set of headphones. And I recommend this actually as a home theater um, headphone because it's very detailed. I, when I was watching Roma, which is very highly, has a strong emphasis on the scene and the audio around it. Let me just pause this for a sec. Uh, you could hear the background noises of people walking, uh, people chatting, and I mean, in the background, the birds chirping and the sound of the aircraft flying over your head. It was amazing. And what I watched it with actually is with this thing. This is a Dolby Digital Decoder. And so it has a optical in from the, um, from the TV, which is really the Amazon, um, I mean, yeah, the Amazon Fire Stick. And it just brings that surround sound in there, the virtual surround sound. So, what it comes with is these two nylon, these two nylon cords, and this one has a mic, and this one allows you to have three quarter inch uh, adapters here. And also comes with a, yeah, this is something of a relic here. This is uh, for airplanes, uh, where you plug into the side for old airplanes. I don't think airplanes had these anymore. The ones that I've seen, at least, they they take these three quarter jacks now, and some of them even use Bluetooth. It comes with a nice case here, and it's pretty it's pretty big. It's really for folding this on the, when you fold this on the flat, does it have any things on the side? No, yeah, it doesn't let you put anything up for accessories. What it does is it gives you this little bag that you put in there and you shove it in there as well. So this is pleather, and you could definitely replace these, and I'm sure there's lots in the market of this particular ear shape. My ear is actually, fit it inside perfectly. And I wear glasses, it's also very comfortable. It's very soft. This thing also flexes very far as well. This is definitely further than my head. So yeah, I wear an extra large ski helmet and it's um, pretty, yeah, it gets pretty wide. And I wanna show you the, the thickness of this wood. So if you look at the side here, it's about like a meter, a millimeter thick. It's based on the depth of those holes. So it is quite thick and this thing weighs about um, 300 grams, I think. Um, I, I, I'll put it in the description below after I put it, uh, it's, it's actually not that heavy. Uh, 300 grams, it's okay. Cause it's, uh, yeah, it's also metal. Everything here is metal here. So it's uh, of high quality. Uh, what I have here is a, a Bluetooth adapter cause this thing is not wireless. Uh, like I said, this takes these cords and these cords are pretty much useless against anything above the iPhone 6S, and this is what I have. I still have a headphone jack, and that's why I'm holding on to this phone. But also the iPhone 8, which is that's why I have this for, and this actually I like I like to recommend this because it's very small and it has a slight emphasis on bass, so it gets it gets me going on uh, on the commute with a bit of bass. So for yeah, against for those who are used to heavy bass. Uh, this is not something I will recommend, but that you could still use it, but you gotta play with the equalizer and it's still able to handle it as well. And it gives a very, uh, a soft like pat to the side of your head, but not like a punch, like um, what I would feel in other heavy bass headphones. Um, so 
do I recommend these? Uh, I, I would recommend these for home theater because of the details, uh, for commute and for airplanes. If you fly and yeah, if you fly and listen to music frequently, um, this this is quite enjoyable for films when you're on an airplane. Oh, actually, yeah, on your commute as well. So, um, if so I, I know that some people actually put these with amplifiers and that really opens things up i don't have a, a an expensive stereo amplifier this is the best i have here and this is actually quite good as well with uh for surround sound virtual surround sound um they they actually highly recommend this uh on on youtube channels but those are of people with a lot of money to splash on amplifiers um this is good enough with just your phone if you in, in if you're used to just using your phone as the amp, yeah, you'll be blown away by this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, just leave in the comment box below. Uh, if you like these videos, just like and subscribe, and I'll have some more headphone reviews next time. I'll see you next time. Bye.